if disciples teach all food is not clean, yes. yeah, and Paul teaches all food is clean, like you just said, yeah. who's correct? See, you're putting me into a trap because obviously I'm going to say it's, the, it's going to say the disciples, but there's a way of... It's, it's a very simple question. Why didn't they eat pig? Uh, it's not really relevant. But it is very relevant. Why is it relevant? Because um, um, all I know is um, in the old law they weren't allowed to eat. Right. Pig. So, they weren't so allowed it's very to simple. Eat. They didn't say all oh, because we think the pig is dirty. No, no. They don't eat pig because God says don't eat pig. Simple. Right. Tell me what the verse says. First of all, I can't fully remember the top of my head. And second of all, I said I'm not. All right, I'll make it easy for you. Okay. Oh, I'm not making a discussion with you. I was just, I just said, oh, I saw us three, and I bring it up, and I was. You saw saying, him. He brought it up. Yes. So we challenged what he brought up, and now you don't want to talk about it. Do you know why I don't want to talk about it? Yes, because you have no knowledge. Um, what is the, because I said to him, you know, um, he's, he had a near-death experience. Oh, no, no, put that aside. because Okay, don't no, forget that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, he said that, you know, Paul, what Paul said, um, contradicts with what Jesus came with. Ah, oh, right, 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 how right, right. How, how is that? He was, he was, he was asking. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, basically, do you believe Jesus made all food clean? And I'm saying, uh, um, no, it doesn't go into detail on saying that Jesus made all How do you understand Mark 7, where it says, thus Jesus made all food clean? It's talking. It's talking about where. Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's talking about um, the clean. The clean. It's called the. What's it called? Okay, I'll repeat myself. What did Jesus mean according to your New Testament where it says in, in, in the Gospel, yeah? Thus Jesus made all food clean. What does that mean? It was, it's talk, like I said, it's talking about um, what's called when Jesus was talking to the, um, the disciples. No, not the disciples, the Pharisees. The Pharisees. It, was, it was talking about um, the washings of hands and blah, blah, blah. What's that got to do with Jesus saying, thus Jesus made never, all food clean? I, I never said it's to do with food. No, no, but the verse says that. Yeah, I know. I just told you what, it's, what it means. It's to do with the wash, um, washing. So, so Jesus saying all food is clean, yeah. is Jesus meaning wash your, you don't have to wash your hands? No, 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 no. So, I, like I said, I don't fully remember it off the top of my head. This is what I was trying to say. Right. Saying, so. Do you believe Paul taught all food is clean? Yes, I do believe Paul taught all food is clean. Right. Was Paul correct in that teaching? Uh, yes. So you believe as a Christian today yeah. that all food is clean? Yeah. Why? Because because Paul allowed it to be all food to clean. So Paul allowed it? Yeah. Okay. What about the disciples of Jesus? Did they believe all food was clean? Uh, they, well, actually, I think they did. You do think they did? I, I How would you know? Because, first of all, um, if I can remember, it, was, it's talk, it talks about um, the disciples. They were, it, was, it was to do with the Jews and it was to do with the disciples. I actually can't remember. Okay. Who has more authority to know the teachings of Jesus? The disciples who walked and talked and ate with him or Paul who never met him? Who has more authority to know what Jesus talked about? I can't remember these questions. No, no, I said, I, I, I no, that's a generic remember. question, bro. Yeah. I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah. Who knew more about Jesus? The men who walked and talked with him, who he, the men who walked and talked and ch who he chose to walk with him and witness his miracles yeah. and sit and eat with him, yeah, or the man who never met him? Who has more authority to know what Jesus taught? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but... So answer that question, then. Yeah, I, I know you, yeah, obviously you would say it's the disciples. No, I'm asking what I say, I'm asking you. No, no, but anyone could agree. Well, I'm asking you. Yeah. I'm saying the disciples. Is that your answer? Yes. Good man. So, if disciples teach all food is not clean... Yes. Yeah? And Paul teaches all food is clean, like you just said. Yeah. Who's correct? See, you're putting me into a trap because obviously I'm going to say it's, the, it's going to say the disciples. But there's a way of... It's, it's a very simple question. Listen, regardless if it's simple, it's not about if it's simple. So I need to know if it's Okay, true. let's just clarify that. Paul, according to you, yeah. made foods clean. Yeah. The disciples, according to me, didn't. Yeah? I need to look into the... Way, the stop, 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 stop. stop. Look into the okay, verses. okay. I'll, I'll give you the verse. Don't worry about that. All right. So... The disciples say food is not clean, all food is not clean. Paul says all food is clean. Yeah. Who has the most authority? Wait, hold on. You're saying all foods are not clean? Yes. I'm not saying it. Disciples of Jesus are yeah, saying disciples it. Disciples of Jesus, that's Yes. What I'm, I'm just trying to remember when it says disciples said that. You know, we can use is for now. We don't even have to be definitive I'm, right I'm now. Gonna, I'm going to just give you, uh, I'm going to give you an example with the whole, the, the, the pig. Basically, you, you lot are not allowed to eat pig, right? No. 
Us and the Jews. <laughs> but, yeah. No, no, really? not, listen, I'm trying to say you lot are not allowed to hang pig. Right. Am I correct? Yes. So through through that statement in um, in Acts, yeah, it has nothing. Um, the disciples don't seem to go against pig. Right. But, did, did I mention pig? No, there's a reason why I mentioned pig, all right. because it's to do with that thing. Okay, no. Do you understand the word all? Yes, I understand the word all. How do you understand that word, all? Everything. Everything included. Yeah. Right. So, I'm not being definitive saying pig. Right. I'm saying all food, according to the disciples of Jesus, yeah. is not clean. Right? You are saying. say that? I'm saying they say it. Okay. Right. You're saying Paul says all food is clean. Right. So we have a contradiction, yes? Right, yeah. If I'm correct. Yeah. Alright. So out of the contradiction, yeah? Yes. Who is more correct? More like Who has the authority? The dis yeah, the disciples. We are missing the right, right, stop, stop, stop. stop. Huge point. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's this hand? So just so we can establish what you're saying, then we can see the point. So you've agreed the disciples have more authority. So if the Bible, in the Bible, if the disciples do put restriction on diets, yeah. that means Paul's wrong, yes? Yeah. Right. And if Paul's wrong, that means whatever is te teaching him, yeah? yeah it's going against the teachings of Jesus, yes? Right, okay. Right, carry on. Going back to the, the, the pig statement I was trying to say, I was trying to say that the Jews obviously did not uh, eat pig because to them it was dirty, basically. And what I was trying to say to you... But why didn't they eat pig? Huh? Why didn't they eat pig? Uh, it's not really relevant. But it is very relevant. Why is it relevant? Because um, um, all I know is um, in the old law, they weren't allowed to eat pig. Right. So it's allowed so very simple. Yeah. They didn't say, oh, because we think the pig is dirty. No, no. They don't eat pig because God says don't eat pig. Simple. Right. Right? Right. 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 But it's not the most important thing. The most important thing I was trying to say is what um in the I was trying to say. Yeah, what I was trying to say is through that statement where uh, the Jews um, the Jews are saying that oh they can't they can only no, I think it was Paul said they can only eat certain foods. Paul said they could only eat, no, actually I can't remember, I, I can't remember, this is why I said there's no point discussing it, I can't remember from the top of my head, I have to read the book. Like I said to you, we don't need to go definitive right now, okay, or we can we can have the, set the parameters and no, the principle. We can't talk about it. Well, uh, okay. We can't talk about it, I can't remember. Like, okay, you said Paul taught all food clean, yes? Yes. And I said the disciples taught all food is not clean, yeah? Right. And you say they have more authority than Paul, yes? Yeah, I, I, I don't see it. Good. So if if the disciples say that, yeah. why are you following Paul? You see, if I knew the verses, you'll see why I'm saying you know? that. Because I was trying to tell you that the disciples didn't seem to go against um, eating uh, different animals, including pig. That's what I'm trying to say. Through the statements we have, they don't seem to go against that. That's why I was trying to bring it in, but I said I can't fully remember. Okay. So what do we just say about the word all? All means everything. Right, so all food is clean or not, yes? Yes. Everything is clean or it's not? Yes. If there's exceptions to all, then it's not all, yeah? Yes. Oh, okay. Did Paul say all food is clean? Yes. Right, so if the disciples say all food is not clean... Well, what do you mean by that? This is what I'm trying to say. They, uh, when you say all foods are not clean, I think they, they, they tell you uh, what is not clean. This is what I was trying to say. All right. But I can't... If they... <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. All right. So if, it doesn't... Like, okay. Do you, if you accept that the disciples um, mentioned certain foods you couldn't eat, yes. yeah, then Paul's wrong, isn't he? Well, yeah, obviously. Right. And if Paul's wrong, yeah. we have to question now who's telling him this. Right. But because, but I'll tell you why, because Paul claims Jesus is teaching him this, yet we know Jesus didn't teach that. You still missed my point. You're, you're missing what my point did I miss? Well, you're, you're sorry, 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 sorry. He keeps saying I missed his point. Yes, he... Clarify your point three times so we know your point so I don't miss it again. I was trying to talk to you about the whole pig statement. I said I don't fully remember the, the full... I haven't mentioned pig. I mentioned pig. I'm telling you I'm mentioning pig because I'm saying that the disciples had uh, a, a couple of rules on what they eat and what they can't eat. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. So if there's so, one rule, on something yeah. you can't eat, yes. then all food is not clean. Wait, hold on. I, like I said, I need to read the, I need to read the, the verses. I don't remember at the top of my head. I can argue the point. I looked into it, but I haven't looked into it enough. So this is why we're going to go around in a circle. Okay. We Let me. I, I tell you what. You don't want to do. I'm going to square that circle. Yeah. All right. So when there's no circles here, I'll make it simple for you. I'll prove to you now the disciples didn't declare all food clean. Give me the Bible. We do this. 
Yeah. Once we've done this, so then you don't have to worry about anything. No, because I can still argue about the... What can you argue about? The, the part where um, it was a Peter that had the vision. Peter's vision? Yeah. Okay, let's do Peter's vision first, then, before we get to here. Okay. Tell me about Peter's vision. I don't know the top of my head. Well, you just brought it up as some kind of evidence. Didn't so I, present didn't I, didn't it. I say, didn't I say at the beginning? Shall I tell you about Peter's vision? Well, <laughs> I don't want you to tell me about it because I told you at the beginning. I don't right. fully remember the whole statement. You know what, dude? I'm going to make it even easier for you. Yeah, I'm going to give you the verse. I'm going to give you Acts 10 where Peter has his vision of the blanket coming down with all the foods, yeah? yeah. And he's told Peter, kill and eat. Um, there we go, Peter's vision, verse 9. <laughs> it's over, it's over. Allah, run away. No, no, but I, I, don't, I don't like... No, 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 no. Don't let them. Jesus is the truth. Don't let them. Yeah. Don't let them pressure you about the Bible. No, don't let them pressure you about the Bible. No, no, no. Yeah, we don't have to read the Bible with you, okay? Sorry. Because if we read the Bible, yeah, things are going to get into some serious problems. Any, any Christians here want to hear the benefit of what we're I saying? I read for the camera's sake. <laughs> Bill, alhamdulillah. Read it for the camera's sake. All right, let's read it for the camera. Okay. Okay, this is the verse he's referring to in uh, Acts 10. About noon the following day, as they were on their journey approaching the city, Peter went on the roof to pray, and he became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven opened and something like a large sheet being let down to earth by all its four corners. It contained all kinds of four-footed animals as well as reptiles and birds. Then a voice told him, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. Surely not, Lord, Peter replied. I have never eaten anything impure or unclean. The voice spoke to him a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened three times and immediately the sheep was taken back to heaven. So what my friend here who was so rudely dragged away is trying to claim is that this is some kind of evidence that Peter was under some impression that the food was unclean. There was no food unclean. Sorry, food was still unclean. I want to speak to you about... Um, one second, one second. I'm just vicious. Hey, Louis, I want to speak to you about a camera. Like, I was just... One second, one second, one second. Can I just finish this a second? Because it's better for the camera now. You, you got dragged away, man. You can come back, no worries. <laughs> so... What, what he was saying now is according to Acts 10, Peter thinks all food is still unclean. Yet God reprimands him and says to him, why do you make unclean which God has made clean? And what he takes from that is that this means God has made all food clean. Now here's a perfect example of him misunderstanding the Bible. Because if this sheet contained all the animals of the world, four-footed animals, why didn't Peter just kill a chicken? Why didn't he kill a goat? Why did he, why did he think all food was unclean? Why? Because God was saying to him, unclean animals cannot contaminate clean animals. So just because you might have a chicken next to a pig, doesn't make the chicken haram or forbidden. Yeah, it doesn't make it unclean. That's what it was saying. So that's his first point. Now the problem he has now is when we go to Acts 15 and the Council of Jerusalem, Peter is still under the impression all food isn't clean. <laughs> Okay, understand something. Understand something, please. The only reason I come here is because of that. Why? Yeah, because I wouldn't waste my time coming here if we weren't educating the world. Yeah, right. So, unless we're filmed, I don't come. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because what we're doing now, we're getting knowledge out to the world. So Christians like yourself might be misunderstood. They'll learn something. Muslims who didn't quite understand will learn something. So everybody learns. So don't be afraid of the camera. No, it's not that, but I, don't, I, I said to you, I didn't fully know the thing. That, 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 that. I didn't ask you to go definitive. Yes, I know, but there's no point in discussing something. That's why I said. No, there, there is, because you set the principle. And then if you can prove the principle, then it's done, isn't it? But, like I said, there's no point in doing that. Because if you give me a statement and I say I can't fully explain to you the statement, there is no point talking about it. If you're going to say, oh, just go in to think. No, you can't do that. If, if you topic, you no said, point. you brought Acts 10 into this, not me. I bring Acts 10 into So why didn't you bring it then? Do you know why I bring it? Because I was trying to tell you, yeah, I could still argue that point. But you can't argue that point. I, I, I just refuted that point. I argue that point then. Tell me about Acts 10. You're not understanding. Are you, you're not trying to listen to me. You're not trying to listen. I am trying right. to listen. No, no, no. Let me explain something. No, let me finish first. Go on. Finish first. What I'm trying to say to you, if someone comes here 
and speak, well, if someone comes to speak to you and they don't know fully about the subject, but they, they say, oh, I know something about the subject, but I don't mind speaking about this, then we can do that. But what you're trying to do is you're, you're giving me questions that I don't fully okay. understand or fully know. Let, let, let's, all right, sorry, so for benefit of the camera. This guy is not a noob, yeah? This guy's in the park virtually every Sunday, yeah? We've had this discussion before and he was going to go away and learn. Then he spoke to this brother about the same subject and he went away and learned. And now he's come back and you still don't know. Wait, hold on. What's called? The whole thing about the whole Melchizedek thing. I spoke to Melchizedek! Listen, listen, let me finish. Uh, that's not let, my argument. Listen, let that's me That's not my argument, mate. Listen, I know. But so why are you bringing listen, it up? I'm trying to... Stay on point. Listen, if you understand why I bring it up, you understand. What I'm trying to say to you is, I didn't bring that thing to months. I was told this back in uh, back in November and then I didn't um, then discuss it back in April. We spoke, you spoke to me about... Melchizedek, I didn't mention Mel yes, Melchizedek to you. Yes, I did. Do you understand why I bring it up? Do you understand why I bring it okay. up? Okay, listen. Why did I bring it up? Listen. I've never discussed this issue with you. Listen, I know, but right, why right, did I bring right. It up? So stay on point. Listen, why did I bring stay it up? Stay on point. I know I will, but why right, stay on point then? But listen, why did I bring that statement up right now? Why did I bring it up? Uh, just for, as an example, yes. that when you go away, you take months to learn something. Right. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Right. So then, why would you yes. come here yes. to try and tackle me again about something you've been rinsed on once? You were going to go away and learn. Listen, this is what you said. You got rinsed on it last time. You've gone away to learn, and you've come back with nothing. Wait, hold on. What do you mean rinsed on it last time? Well, you, you got rinsed. What do you mean rinsed on it last time? Last time we spoke about this issue, Where? I did exactly to you. What I'll do to you now? Last time, last time was the first time we spoke about this. I never spoke to you about the dietary law. We never spoke about dietary law. This is the second. This is the second time. The first time we spoke. And we spoke about dietary law. The first time we spoke was the first time I didn't know about. It. I was like, yeah, Are we okay. spoken about it? Yeah. This is the first. Right. This is the okay. Stop. 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 I don't think the camera think I'm lying here, or anyone here to think I'm lying. Have we spoken about it? Yes. Did I rinse you on it? How? What was called? I didn't know about it. So why? Why? All right. You, okay. I didn't know about it. So All you, right. To say, according to what I said to you. Hold on. To say rinse is to say you argued with me and I knew about it and then we were debating. No. 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 To say I'm rinse. Debating. Okay. To say rinse is very simple. Yeah. I presented evidence to support everything I said and you were going to go away and check that evidence right. which you haven't done okay right so now you come back with what well, I said. Do you want me to say the same things again? Are you going to go away again? Then I, I came to. God. Listen, I, I came. Wait, hold on. I came to you just to discuss it. Uh, um, no, actually, not to discuss it with you. I was just telling you. Oh yeah, I know about it, but I didn't say let's discuss it and blah blah because I, I didn't know too much about. Okay. It. The Where's one... the brother who dragged you here? Where's the brother who dragged you here? <laughs> He's right. Brother brought you here to me, yep. saying you were talking about the dietary laws. I was. Listen. Uh, yeah. No, we weren't speaking about the dietary. He brought you here, Paul and Jesus dietary laws. Listen, it, we were talking about near death experience. No, no, but he brought. Yeah. Then you said, don't, then you said, don't speak yeah. about that. Yes, okay. And then we're speaking about dietary laws, Paul and Jesus. But I said, there's no. And now we've established. And I said, there's, there's no point going into detail. Okay, let's at least do this. Let's at least do this. Let's part as friends. Okay, listen. Let's establish some principles that you can research. And when I see you next, I say, have you researched? If you say no, then we won't talk about it. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Here's the principle. If Paul teaches something contrary to the disciples' teachings, then the disciples are the authority, yes? I'm aware of that, yeah. No, do you accept that? Yeah, I accept that. Right. And if Paul is claiming that Jesus taught him that... Actually, no, I'm not going to accept that. Oh, you're not going to accept that now? Uh, no, the only reason why I'm not going to accept it is because if I don't, if I don't know about this... The, the topic, no, 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 no. Listen, it's a principle. Listen, once again, if I don't know about the topic, regardless of the principle, the principle is still changing. I need to know... I need to Know the, um, I need to know the point of what Okay, I'll make it easy for you. Forget dietary laws. Who has more authority to talk about the teachings of Jesus? Jesus, uh, sorry, the disciples of Jesus or Paul? The disciples of Jesus. Right. And if there's a contradiction, who's correct? The disciples of Jesus or Paul? I need to understand the point. Of if there is. If. If there is. In the event of. Okay, then you'll say the disciples. Alhamdulillah. Right. Now, if Paul is claiming that he got his information of Jesus, right. and the disciples got their information of Jesus, right. and what their information is contradictory, yeah. if in the event of, yeah. that means what Paul, whoever Paul is getting his information from, right. isn't Jesus. Well, like I said, depends on the context, I have to read it. That's why we said if, in the event of, okay. right. So the principle is, no alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, the, so the point here is very, very simple, yeah? You've agreed that if the disciples contradict Paul, they're the authority, forget Paul. Okay. All right. You believe Paul taught all food is clean. Yeah. If the disciples talk contrary to that, Paul's wrong and all food is not clean. Yeah. Good. Go and do your research.
here. If Christians were doing what I'm doing here in the park, right. then you you, you, you you wouldn't listen to them, yeah? And I said to you, there's Christians everywhere doing it. Yeah. And you say, yeah, I speak to them. So now I'm asking you, what do you think about Jay Smith? No, the way he does his preaching. The way he lies. Okay, lying is another thing, because then you assume... I, I don't know if he lies. You have to show me where he lies and what he does. Okay, he's talking about Bani Kureida today. Bani Kureida. You didn't hear him. Okay. He's a liar. Okay. Yeah? Is, he, there's evidence on YouTube that he's a liar. There's quite a few evidence on that. Yeah, clearly, he's deceitful. Yes, okay. So I don't know too... I, I don't yeah. know... I don't know like I said, I don't know too much. Yeah, yeah. All right. But just so, I want this to be fruitful, you see. I don't want this to end uh, stalemate again, in a sense. It's <laughs> not <laughs> Right, so we've said three, three, three times you've admitted that Paul said all food is clean, and you admit that the disciples didn't agree with Paul. It doesn't matter. So you agree with that? You agree with that? So you accept the contradiction, which is fine. You put, you said you put on the thing, you said you would, would talk about Jay, uh, Jay Smith, but I said, I said. Oh, well, I, I, all right. I asked about Jay Smith, I'm not really listening to him, I'm not really yeah, knowing. Yeah, right, so what, what do you mean to talk about now? The Philippine weather? <laughs> How can I talk about Jay Smith if you don't listen to him? <laughs> well, well, I'm, let's not talk about it. Let's forget about it. Right, right. I, I, so. You're the one you really want to speak about. I didn't really no, 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 no. I want to challenge you when you said to me that my style, the way I am here, yeah. you wouldn't uh, listen to it. And, you know, if the Christians did what I did, this, that, yeah. the other. And I said to you, Christians everywhere are doing worse yeah, than me. And I'm saying that I don't fully... Really and then I said about lying. And you said, oh, where does Jay Smith lie? Well, I don't know if Jay Smith lies. No, I know. So then if you don't listen to Jay Smith, how can I show you where he lies? So it's pointless, isn't it? I didn't realize you didn't listen to Jay Smith. I thought you listened to him. Yeah. You don't listen to him? I don't yeah. really. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I mostly listen to James White. Why do you listen to Jay Smith when you're here? I don't blame him. I don't. Do I have to? Is it is it by force that I have to listen to? I can listen to. Well, he, he's your biggest speaker here as a Christian. Okay, he's not. He's not Jesus. He's, he's just a man. Yeah. He, also, yeah he, James White is also not Jesus. Yes, I know that, but I like to listen to. The difference between him is he's a very calm guy and he speaks in in a, in a way that you know you want to listen to. Him. He doesn't have. A bit like he doesn't have what you have, that kind of blah blah. You, you know, know. He's a, he's a, is he a Calvinist? Is he a Calvinist, James White? Is James White a Calvinist? Do you agree with Calvinism? I don't know too much about it. I have to look into it. But James White is a Calvinist. Were well, you like James White? Right, like I said, I don't. Yeah, well, you know, I haven't looked into, I haven't looked into every Christian denomination. I haven't looked into uh, every religion into detail. I know okay. about, about, about it, but, you know, like I said. Okay. No, the circles. The circles are very simple. Yeah, it's a straight line. Yeah. Either Paul is correct. Oh, we're going this again. I said I was, you said I should look into it. So I said yeah. yeah. All, all right. Yeah. So all right, right. So, so let's just make sure we're, we know what we're doing here then. So the next time I see, I'm going to ask you. Yeah. All right. So either Paul is correct, yeah. or the disciples of Jesus are correct. Correct. One of them is wrong. Yeah. You said the disciples take authority over Paul. This is your words. Yeah. So we can. Hold on. Oh. I, this is why we have to go over it. Yes, because you, because you don't understand what I'm trying to say. I didn't. I say. Does anyone understand what you're saying? I can't speak to you. I, I can't speak to you. I genuinely can't speak to you. Next time, I just come in and I hope I can. We can have a discussion. The whole. Yeah. All you need to leave with is this, yeah. If Paul is teaching something contrary to what the disciples are teaching, then Paul is being deceived by some spirit which is not Jesus. Simple. Because that's the only way you will know whether Paul is receiving Jesus or not. If there's a contradiction, then whatever is uh, given inspiration to Paul for 10 years is nothing to do with Jesus. That's the ramification of what we're talking about. So you might not think it's important, dietary laws, this, that, the other, but it's very important to know whether or not Paul is receiving what you think he's receiving or not. That's the key. And this is empirical evidence that proves, without a shadow of a doubt, that whatever met Paul on the road to Damascus wasn't Jesus. Emmanuel? I, oh, is, I, I don't deny it on wrongness. I just wish, you know, we had like more of a discussion. Like, you could be right. I have no problem with that. You could be wrong. Unfortunately, no disrespect to you, Emmanuel. You've got no knowledge, man. You're in the wrong... I feel, I feel like I'm kicking a puppy here, man. Yeah, first of all, if I have no knowledge on a certain subject, don't, 
Don't say it in the sense that, you know, because that's a slight insult to me. I have no knowledge on what. Don't just say I have no knowledge. Yeah, I don't know that particular subject. Right. But if we so, did in a different subject and you didn't know, I'm not going to say to you, you have no knowledge. Cause that's no, I'll I, I, I tell you something, me. If I don't have knowledge about a certain subject, I yeah, won't even bring it up. But, yeah, but still, regardless. Yeah, you know, I. It's a lesson there. I did say to you at the beginning, this is why I say we keep going in circles, round and round. I did say to you, oh, I know about it, but I didn't look into it fully. And you still wanted to debate. You say, oh, let's talk about blood. Wait, 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 wait. But, did, did I come to you? Uh, what's called? Um, the other did, guy. Did I come to you? Hold on, the other guy came. Okay, did I come to you? Hold on, the other guy bring me. All right, all right, did I come to you? I didn't know he was bringing me to you. All right, when you've seen me, yeah. what could you have? So what do you want me to do? I'm going to be like, see you in a little No, you should come here and say, you know what, bro? I've not really studied what we talked about last time. Yes, that's what I said. Did you? Yes, I said this. At the beginning. But you were discussing the subject with him. No, I wasn't. So why did he come to me and say... We were can, talking about... What did he say? Near-death Why he came to me? I'll tell you exactly what he said to me. He brought you to me yeah. and he said, um, yeah, can you speak to this guy? We're talking about Jesus and Paul and the dietary laws. So you... No. I, yes. Listen, I don't deny that. Good. I, what's called? He, we did bring it up. No, but what's called? No, we didn't. No, you didn't. Well, I don't know if he said that or not. I need to double check. We did talk about Paul and Jesus having... Uh, did you bring him? Did you, who brought him up? Who brought you? What's called? We did talk about... Um, G, uh, Jesus and Paul having differences. That's what I said to him. But we, we only brought that up for like, what? Um, a minute, less than a minute. That, but the whole thing was about oh, near-death experience. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. If you said the whole thing was about near-death experience. Yeah. Okay, so listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen. Let's be honest here. That's what, I am honest. All right. Oh, okay, well, listen. All right, you said the whole thing was about what near-death experience, yeah? Yeah. All right, alhamdulillah. He brought you up, spoke about Jesus and Paul and dietary laws, right? And then he said, near-death experiences. And you said, no, I don't want to talk about near-death experiences. Right, I did say that. You did say that, right. So now, you come up with two subject matters here. Right. Jesus, Paul and dietary laws, or near-death experience? We talked about dietary laws. We talked about dietary laws as soon as, we, as, soon as you... I knew His words to me were Jesus, Paul, dietary law. No. Oh. Uh, the closest I can remember is him saying that... Um, uh, I might have said to him, oh yeah, I've spoken to him about dietary laws. Yeah, I did say that. But other than that... Your mentor's here. <laughs> he needs your help, man. But yeah. Uh, actually, the, the fact that... Um, oh yeah, I just remembered one thing about the whole sell-off. You, know, you said it was... Oh my god! No, no, that's true. I'm just saying. I just wanted to clarify. It, it uh, go, um, go, go. It's not only in Medina, but it's actually also in uh, Jordan. Also, there was also a place... Um, um, oh man, I've actually forgotten the verse because I'm not talking about it, I can't remember. Selah, that's the Selah is also, it, it's also in the Jordan, so it wasn't the only place in the Jordan. Okay, so let's say it's Jordan or Medina, yeah? Right. Okay, who sung for joy uh, for a prophet of God? Who sang for joy? Yeah, for God? In, in, uh, we've, got, we've got choice here now, yeah? We've got to decide. Is it Jordan or is it Medina, yeah? Right. Oh, okay, out of those two places, who sang for joy at the coming of a prophet? For yeah, because that's one of the conditions, isn't it? Okay. That's what's going to happen in Sella. Right. So who did that in history? Uh, do you know what? I really shouldn't even answer that question because last time we spoke. No, no, I'll tell you why. Because last time, no, 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 no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because last time we spoke here and you completely denied the first three verses when I said it talks about Jesus when it was in Matthew. And at first, on the first verse, you completely. Denied. Are you going to answer the question? Do you know why I'm saying I'm not answering? Do I know why you're not answering a simple question? No. Yes. Because last did you you just made the claim yeah. that the seller in Isaiah 52 yeah. is referring to Jordan? Right. So I'm saying to you, it, seller could refer to Jordan, yeah. and it could refer to Medina. Yes. So what? So what's going to happen according to Isaiah? Well, I'm not going. To. What's going to happen according to Isaiah in seller? What's going to happen? What did I say? Tell me. I said to you, I'm not going to answer it because last time we spoke about So you're not going to tell me what the verse says? First of all, I can't fully remember the top of my head. And second of all, I said I'm not... Alright, I'll make it easy for you. Okay. Oh, I'm not making a discussion with you. I was just, I just said, oh, I saw us three and I bring it up and I was You saw saying, him, he brought it up. Yes. So we challenged what he brought up and now you don't want to talk about it. Do you know why I don't want to talk about it? Yes, because you have no knowledge. No, why don't I want to talk about it? Because you have no knowledge. What did I say? What did you I have say? no knowledge. No, no, what did I say about it? Whatever you want to say, mate. 
I can't remember the verse, I can't remember this, I can't remember that, no, I thought I it was this. I no, you did, yes you I did. Said, I did you just say, I can't remember the verse off the top of my head? I know the verse off the top of my head. Listen, and I'm not even a Christian. Listen, listen, you're not listening to me. Go on. I said to you, the reason why I don't want to discuss it is because last time I bring in Matthew, uh, the first three verses of, uh, of Isaiah 42, which um, talked about Jesus, oh. you completely ignored it. That is why I don't want to talk about it, because we're going to talk, have a discussion. Have you heard of a, have you heard of a rabbi called Tova Yasinga? No, have you heard of a rabbi? No, I don't know. All right. Now, you quote in Isaiah like you, as if you understand it, yeah? Uh, now, this rabbi understands it. Yeah? Have you, I don't even know. No, listen, what you should do. What you should do. You should do. You know why? Because as a Christian, you're trying to appeal to a verse in the Bible, in the Old Testament, as if it supports your case, when a rabbi will show you exactly what it's referring to. Do you know why I'm not speaking to you? It's not only because it's just. Because you have the knowledge. Okay, I can't. You're no, I'm just stating a fact, mate. You're, you're just I, don't, I don't go to people I don't know. I, I start talking about things I don't know about. Remember what I said earlier, if you know about a topic and you start talking about it, it's you know. You've brought this topic up? Yes, I brought a topic up not to hopefully discuss it, I was just... So what did you bring it up for? I brought a point, I was just... You brought up, a, I'll tell you what you did. Oh, you thought you were being clever, you listened to Jay Smith, which you say you don't, yeah. saying that Seller's in Petra, in Jordan, so now we have a choice. Hold on, yes, he does, yes. Well, I didn't know. All right. I, I looked who told you that myself. then? I looked into it Who did you read? What do you mean, who did I read? Uh, you have Sam Shimon? Hold on. David Wood? Hold on. Who, who did you get your information from? The wholesaler thing. I went to go and look on, on the internet. Oh, where on the internet? Anyone could go and look. Where on the internet? What do you mean, where on the okay. internet? Okay, where you went on the internet. If you go on Google. Yeah, Google. The same way you went on Google and right. you saw uh, seller was in Medina, you can do the same thing if it's, uh, what's it called? It's also in the Jordan. Right, right, right. right. Tell so, me I look, did I dispute there's a seller in Jordan? I, that's not my point, though. Uh, no, what's, what's, what's your point? point? My point was, it was just a point I just bring up. So, here's your point. Here's what you did. I'll take something what you did. I made the, I proved last time that seller was in Medina. You've now learned there's also a seller in Jordan. Yeah. So this seller in Isaiah could be referring to seller in Jordan. Yeah. So I then challenge your point by saying, well, how would we know? Well, the reason we would know, we would look in the, the verse in Isaiah and say, what will happen in Seller? And it says, the people will sing with joy. So no, 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 and then here it is. If we look at Jordan and Medina, who sang with joy at the coming of a prophet? And what did I say? You don't know. What did I say? I don't know the verse. That's what you said. What did I say? Did I, did I say I didn't know? Oh, you said, oh, you don't want to get into it now? Yes. Right, I know. You know why? Because you realise you're wrong. Again. Once again, I said I don't want to get into it. Why not? You rejected last time when we spoke about Matthew. Why don't you want to get into that? Can't you answer a simple question? I told you. I, can't. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you.